Welcome everyone back to the 9th episode of the Westboro Shopping Road to Gorish series. Now today, as I told you guys in the last episode, we are going to sign a left back and I've decided to sign this man from Arsenal. I know some of you guys is Ar Arsenal fan, some of you are not. Personally, I'm a Tottenham fan, but hey, why not try some Arsenal players? They are not that, they are not that bad to be honest. Now I'm going to try to offer them this dude, I don't know who the hell is he, but Arsenal rejected and won 13.5 million pounds, which we actually managed to get it down after a turns of negotiations to 10.5 million pounds. Now let's get into the wage with Sid Kanasinaj, which they want a crucial squad role. I'm going to accept that 4 years contract length. I'll put it to 5 just in case we need him for a few more years and they accept it. No release clause as always and I've checked Sofifa for his wage currently in Arsenal cause I don't know what his wage is and I don't want to mess that up. A few moments later. Okay so it's a couple minutes later and I've found that he got a 60,000 pounds a week wages in Arsenal. Which I'm going to give him that and he wants some signing bonus and yeah I'm going to give him a signing bonus and he accepts it and welcome to the team the Bosnian man Sik Kanasinej in our left back Should we sign Messi also in the team too? Let me know in the comments section down below that would be a perfect perfect strong link for him the man can last snatch and mess it also. Let me know that in the comment section down below should we sign the pre-contract with Mesut also. After the signing for Kanasinach, Kanasinach, I think the team is good enough and we are going to simulate the game against Sheffield United who is in the relegation zone in the Premier League now in real life as well and we get a 2 new victory from Calvert Lewin and also Calvert Lewin and also Calvert Lewin missed the penalty so He's so close to get a hat trick, but he just didn't manage to get it. And we are going to face against Arsenal Villa next. He's a bit of a big team killer in real life. We're a small team, so we technically can win them. Is it how it works? I hope it is how it works. And then let's get into the game, see if we can beat them. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's West Bromwich Albion, surely. Rifled against the post, but back in play. He could pick out a teammate. Now delivering that deep cross. Oh, the overhead kick! Pure athleticism! Wonderful goal! Matt Target. Crossing possibilities. Well, unable to hold his run. It's a goal for Crystal Palace. It's been scored by Jordan Ayew. The ball bounced up just inside the area and he caught it on the volley and despite getting a... And room now out on the wing. Well, that's how to do... That's a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Has indicated there will be a minimum it's with El Ghazi pass after pass keeping their opponents moving did well to win the ball back
And with that, Barcelona have been successful. Well, Derek, I've heard the fees around £55 million. That's the type of money you have to pay for a quality player these days. And he is quality. Make no mistake about that. But it was fired straight. Well, don't forget we have the decisive second leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final coming up for you live on EA TV. It's West Bromwich Albion taking on Leicester City. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And in the end, it's an easy finish. Lovely goal. The league action for players, always a good atmosphere when it's knockout football. It might be. Still alive. And appear plentiful. This could be the equaliser. Terrific block there. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. This could finish it. And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, here is the replay, and to be fair, the keeper from that distance hasn't got much chance of keeping it out. Lovely goal. And now this game is officially over, and a success story for the Baggies. Lee, how would you... Wow, what a game for the team. My man Hideo Tamasaki gave himself two goals and one assist. It possibly be the best game so far in the team. And yeah, we're going to face against Leicester City in the second leg in the Carabao Cup next. Hope Tamasaki can keep up his form and hope other players can have a better game than before in the first leg as we lost 4-1 to them. And yeah, that would be a hard hard journey for us to go through but yeah. Let's see if we can go through and yeah, let's get into the game. And joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the second leg of this semi-final. And he might be through here. Surely, there it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, let's see that again. Once he gets into his stride, he just strolls past players. What a lovely solo, wonderful effort this is. A chance to revisit the goal. Mateus Pereira. Might be a chance here. Well, visionary passing. Slimani! Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it. But... And he's through here. And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. On aggregate, it is 6 2. No, not the best challenge. Oh, it might be. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here it is again. And I wonder how he waltzes past the defender so easily. And then through on goal. You never really had any doubt he was going to slot that away. Good finish. Plenty of work for the scoreboard operators on this tie. 6 3. Madison. And the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. No real conviction in the challenge. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. 
Strong but fair tackle. On the offensive. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where... few moments later Didi all over the top. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Now can they create something? Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. They create something from here. That's a useful cross. Chance maybe. I mean, that's about him. He think I think he's a real treasure. Can he finish this? So the corner played into the box but it can't get all the way through and the counter attack is on options available will they profit from this situation and he might be through here and this time it's in fabulous goal and just look at the celebrations well you don't get Tammy Abraham Abraham! Got to it easily, the keeper. Play is over. Madison. Can they convert? And he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Absolutely unplayable today. Game with a scoreline of 5 4. The referee's whistle and a real treat in store for the travelling fans because they can. Guys, is he called rigged? At in 10 minutes. When you say you're going to add two minutes, what? And they actually scored that goal? Wow, this game is so rigged, man. Anyway, I'm not complaining because that goal really did, didn't affect us that much as we are four goals down in aggregate now, but yeah. But anyway, I got to prize the team because the team really did well in my opinion. Just FIFA is rigged at this point. And yeah, and congratulations to Tamasaki. Possibly scored his first hat trick in his career, including the season with us in Wolves last season, in the last FIFA, I don't remember, but definitely the first hat trick in this Westbrook Albion team and the fastest hat trick as well because he used only 40 minutes to get the hat trick and yeah. So Tamasaki actually gets 7 goal contribution in 2 games, getting 
5 goals and 2 assists, with the team only scored 7 in these 2 games, which puts him to be the Golden Boot winner and the assist leader in the Carabao Cup now with only 1 game to go. Only Leicester City and Newcastle United are going to get goals. Speaking with Leicester City and Newcastle United fighting to win the Carabao Cup, that means the 7th place in the Premier League is not going to be available for teams to get the Europa League spot. So technically, we need to get sick if we want to get Europa League and I think it's too hard and I don't know if the team really can capable to get 6th place. So I'm not going to really rush the team and I'm going to simulate some more games for the rest of the season. And yeah, just try to keep the top 10 positions and I'll be happy to be honest. We are going to simulate the game against the Carabao Cup finalists however by the name of Newcastle United and we beat them 3-0. Wow, Dominic Cavaloon and Tabasaki again scores again. Wow. Cavaloon scored in the 8th minute as well. Puts us still 8th place but only 1 point behind West Ham United in 7th place. Still, it is so hard for us to get 6th place, but I mean, this team is really good to be honest compared to what we see in the start of the season and this team is really capable to win something in the future. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, this is a pretty much talking episode at the end and some absolute calamity rigged moments in the Leicester game and we also see what Tamasaki can offer us in the future. And yeah, hopefully the Japanese Wonder Kid, Japanese CR7 can contribute us more in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.